Our firm has been awarded the bid for a new project. In your role as a design drafter at our firm, you will be working on a proposed restaurant, and the design will be performed exclusively using MicroStation. You are new to MicroStation and find yourself in need of becoming familiar with the basic operations of the MicroStation Connect Edition. During this lesson, you will learn how to interact with a workspace and work set, and open and view a MicroStation design file that has been branded to the active work set. We are going to get started now. First thing that we need to do is see how we can start the program. So, to start MicroStation, you can choose from several methods. From the MicroStation program group or the desktop, double click the MicroStation icon. Here, we will simply choose to double click the desktop icon. As for other methods, you can double click a DGN file, drag a DGN file icon from Windows Explorer onto the MicroStation icon, and then in Windows Explorer, double click the file microstation.exe. The work page is presented displaying the workspaces and work sets, work set properties, and more. From the work page, let's set the following. From the workspace drop down menu, we'll select Bentley Connect Training. A workspace is a container that is used to group work sets and may be used to represent any variety of things such as your client, your department, or a specific asset such as a plant or a building. And then from the work set drop down menu, we'll go ahead and select MS Basics Building. A work set is used to represent a specific project within the workspace. Now that the work set has been chosen, you can view the work set properties. These are shown on the right side of the work page. You can see that the active work set contains properties for the client, project information such as a client project ID, description, and location information. The work set properties for our project have been preset by the CAD management team in our organization. The value of a work set property is then available in any design file associated with the work set and can be used by various annotation and reporting tools found within the MicroStation Connect Edition. This can be useful in filling out title block information. A property's value may be accessed when placing text and is linked back to the property definition. If a change is made to the property value, the change will then propagate to any file the property is used in. The next time the file is opened, the text whose value is derived from the property can update. All right, so let's now open a design file. From the work page, we'll go ahead and click Browse. We'll navigate to the folder, MS Basics Building DGN Ref, and then open the MicroStation design file, topord.dgn. This file contains the topographic data for the location of our restaurant design project. Here, you are presented with a no work set alert message. This file was supplied by the customer and has not been associated with our active workspace work set. A work set in the MicroStation Connect Edition is equivalent of a project. It is a grouping of files and settings that are used to access a project's data. A work set can include custom work set properties such as a project ID number, work set specific standards, a sheet index, and any associated design files. A workspace is a collection of related work sets. So from here, we are going to make sure that the option Use Active Workspace Work Set is selected, and then click Open. The file is then opened, displaying the MicroStation user interface, with the file now being branded to the Active Workspace Work Set. Now, each subsequent time the file is opened, MicroStation will verify that this is the Active Workspace work set. If not, the user will be then prompted to activate this workspace work set. During this lesson, you learned how to interact with a workspace and work set and open and view a MicroStation design file that was branded 
to the active work set. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.